winter had begun. The days were short and the nights were longer. The snow was falling and the temperature was freezing cold. Time to go to sleep for a long while for many creatures. In the woods that stretched below, where the red kites flew in ever increasing numbers, there was someone who wasn't ready to go to sleep just yet. A young and curious hedgehog was very intrigued about his first winter. He kept thinking how many amazing things he would be missing while he was hibernating. Therefore, he decided to postpone his hibernation for a little while and explore the woods in winter. How amazing the feeling of the snow! The hedgehog discovered that it was cold and soft and for some reason very hard to walk on with his short legs. Let's have a look around with him. A grey squirrel says hi from the top of the tree while a red-breasted robin sings and away runs the shy deer. After walking around, the young hedgehog stopped for a snack at the base of a wild service tree. He snuffled about for some fallen fruit and insects to help him to recover some energy. But what a surprise when he landed on the tree and a magic door appeared opened before him. The curious hedgehog could not resist the temptation and went through the door, which closed behind him. What a change! The hedgehog was confused. He seemed to be in a different space, and not only that, he was back in the spring. How amazing it was the smell of the flowers and feel the sun on the face. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw something moving. A very cheeky pine martin who was staring at him. Hi, my name is Marley. I'm, I'm new around here. Do you have any food to share with me? Marley said while searching between Herbie's spines. Ouch, ouch. Hi, I'm, I'm Herbie. I don't have food right now. I was just looking for some bags to eat when something weird happened and I... I ended up here. Do you like eating bugs for a snack? Well, I like pretty much everything, Marley Pine Martin said. Even your fleece tastes good to me. But I know just where we can find some bigger insects. Herbie and Marley took a stroll in the woods until they came to a meadow at the edge of the lake where they found some grasshoppers butterflies and crunchy beetles to eat. They played on the grass and chased at the delicious bugs. Marley was surprised how quick Herbie was and Herbie was amazed how high and far Marley could jump. When they were full and tired, they decided to have a break just where some baby swans were resting by the shore of the lake. The two friends played with the swans for a while how much fun they had together and how ticklish their feathers were. The parent swans suddenly returned and chased them away. The young swans waved their wings and honked after their new playmates. Herbie began to feel very tired. Oh, I've had such a great time, Herbie said yawning. Oh, but now I must go back to winter and sleep for a while. Mm. Marley loved the idea of crossing through a magic door, so she decided to walk with Herbie back to winter. When Herbie and Marley arrived to the door, they realized that they had no idea how to open it. The tree had changed and was a towering home oak that stretched over the lake and path. Hmm. They tried knocking, pushing it, dancing in front of it, they even tried saying, open sesame, but nothing worked. Both friends, tired of trying everything, sat down with their backs against the tree. And all of a sudden, the bark gave way and a door opened, making them roll on their back. 
while crossing to the other side. They both yelled in excitement, celebrating, until they looked around and found that they were no longer in the woods and it was no longer springtime. The temperature was colder than spring, but there was no snow on the ground. Hmm. Instead, lots of orange and brown leaves were falling slowly down from the trees and the two friends were alongside a river that snaked far into the distance in both directions they looked. Oh no! Where did winter go? Herbie wondered. I think we are in autumn now. We must have gone through the wrong door. Hmm. Oh, it can't be far from here. Let's have a look nearby. Winter can't just disappear. Marley reassured him. The two friends began to walk looking for Winter's door. They carefully tried to find a door in the bases of the trees they saw on their way. Herbie Hedgehog started digging through the fallen leaves with such an energy that the leaves buried Marley in a pile. Marley found that very funny and did the same to Herbie. Before they realized, they were throwing leaves to each other and wallowing in them on the ground. A fox that was passing through got in the middle of the leaf storm and started to play with them too. The sky darkened. Herbie realized that it was dusk Oh. All of a sudden, they heard something moving behind the bushes. <gasps> they looked closely and they saw <gasps> a black and white snout poking out of the branches. <gasps> Badger! The sh fox shouted. He's very rampy. We must have woken him up. Run! The three animals ran as fast as they could, while the badger yelled after them and threatened many terrible things he would do if he got them. The fox was faster than Marley and Herbie, and he soon left them behind, while the two friends desperately knocked on every single tree along the river trying to find the magic door. The night came quickly and Herbie and Marley decided to hide from the night, but they were worried that the badger was close behind them. A tiny owl pair who had been watching them alone called them from the top of the tree. Tweet too! We see you! Hounding from a magic door? Then it must be true! Oh, we can see nothing magical from here. Trust us, we can see very well in the dark. Have no fear. Keep walking until you pass the third tree on the left of the big rock. We believe the door is right there. Just give the willow trunk a knock. The two friends ran in the direction the owls had told them and finding a dropping weeping willow tree in front of them. They held hands and pushed the trunk with their backs. The trunk shimmered and changed and the friends rolled through it backwards into yet another new space. They both got to their feet and shook the lips of them. Marley looked up and started to jump for joy. Hooray! Hooray! We are in summer! My favorite season of the year! Come on Herbie, come and play with me! He ran along the fallen oak trunk that had been carved into a shape of a dragon and all the Herbies tried his best. He just could not keep up. Oh no, Herbie said. I love summer. It's nice and warm, but I am very, very tired. I just want to go back to winter and have a nap for a few months. All right, Marley said kindly looking down at his friend. Let's find Winter's door. Both friends began to walk around the copse asking all the creatures that they found on their way if they had seen the magic door. They passed a meadow full of yellow rattle and made their way through the young area of woodland. Marley was so excited to be in summer again that she kept getting distracted with everything. But Herbie was so tired that he was walking with his eyes almost closed. He was so sleepy that he didn't see the camouflaged lizard 
basking on a rock right in front of him and crash! Herbie tripped over the lizard. Ouch! The lizard said while removing a spine from Herbie's back that got stuck on his leg. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Herbie apologized with a big yawn. I'm trying to find the magic door to go back to winter. Oh, I, I just want to go to sleep. The lizard looked at him. The magic door, you said. Hmm, I've never seen it, but I've heard some stories of magic door at the base of the dragon oak. Awesome, Marley said. We know exactly where there is. We will go back there now. Both friends said thank you to the shiny lizard and started on their way back to the fallen oak. Herbie Hedgehog was doing his best to keep his eyes open while Marley Pine Martin kept bouncing everywhere. Look, Herbie! Oh, what lovely thing is flying above our head! Herbie looked up and saw a beautiful dragonfly. Yay! It's a dragonfly! He must be leading us back to the dragon tree. Finding the dragonfly made Harry very happy and so he woke up enough to have the energy to keep walking. They were getting very close to the dragon oak when they heard a terrible noise. It was a giant mowing machine that was coming to mow the meadows. Animals scattered from the grass around them and the two friends so how frightening they all were. They ran as fast as they could towards the fallen oak without looking back even once. They kept running and running and running until Harry shouted that he could see a space at the base of the broken trunk. Both creatures ran straight for it and to their surprise they were followed by a few field mists, a straw and a dragonfly that had guided them there. When they got to the base, Marley suddenly stopped, looked around and said, You go ahead, Herbie. I love summer. I would like to stay here for a little longer. There are lots of small creatures and insects for me to feed on here. You are going to sleep anyway, so I will come and find you when it's winter here. Herbie yawned in agreement. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep as soon as I find my lovely and cozy nest. The two friends hugged with the true, the filmies, the families crept quietly under the dragon trunk as they had heard Marley describing what she would do by eating them. Herbie leaned on and went through the shimmering space alone. When Herbie felt the cold on his back, he was so relieved to find himself deep in the leaves amongst the roots of a giant sycamore tree that he fell asleep, feeling excited to wake up in spring and explore the magical new woodland that he had found himself in.